See, we, we tend to think we have to make these big gestures in recovery. We don't. It's that that's actually not where recovery happens. Mm -hmm. It's the small gestures. It's being able to be present for 30 seconds and understanding that creating a new neural pathway only takes 17 seconds. You could actually grow the field of perspective, grow the vastness of what you think you know and begin to see that other ways of seeing are possible. To really have that mind-body connection, to regulate emotions, to have methods for release and discharging release of the stress, it cultivates within us this sense of inner confidence that we can ride the wave of discomfort. And I realized a child that doesn't feel like they matter to their parents will not stop loving their parents, they'll stop loving themselves those core beliefs that get developed in those early, early stages, they get, you know, imprinted on us. They become part of our cognitive map and, and emotional makeup. They can be changed over time, but it's more, much more difficult because they get ingrained. Betrayal is one of those things that, that hurts so much because think about it. We're not betrayed by people we don't know necessarily. These are the people we were the closest to. So when the, the person or the people we trust the, mo the most prove untrustworthy, who do we trust? When the ones we run to and other people are causing harm, when they're the ones causing the harm, where do we go? And I think the easiest way to build relationships on trust is to create independency between two people. What works is really two strong independent people working together.